when, they, when we talk about FGM, it's also important to remember FGM is also another form of sexual abuse. And people always say to me, why would you say that it's sexual abuse? I'll tell you why it's sexual abuse. If I went outside right now, grabbed a child, pinned them to this table, and I spread their legs apart and I touched their genitals, I would be on a sex offender's list. Why is that any different? That's what we need to challenge all the time. Because people are going to come up to you and say, why are you talking about FGM? Why do you, it's not your culture. That is what you need to remind them. The cutting comes afterwards, and that is the scar I was left with. Maybe I didn't have the worst scar, but the psychological scar. I was abused in many ways in those few minutes. For me, I think I was going to die, because if, if I could have a baby back home, why couldn't I have this baby here, where there's lots of help? It took a Jamaican woman who changed that evening when they were trying to prepare me to go for a cesarean session. When she examined me, you know, 